All right, today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, lunch, and we're going to talk about lunchroom expectations because the lunchroom can kind of get crazy. And if you look at, you know what? Let me just show you what lunch looked like when I was a kid. Here are the children, tomorrow's adults, on their way to the throne. Tomorrow's doctors and nurses, writers and lawyers, tomorrow's spacemen. Attendance at this school is high, and so are the grades. And one reason could very well be a noonday lunch in the National School Lunch Program. It happens every noon, Monday through Friday, in this school, in all schools that take part in the National School Lunch Program. It happens every noon for the pupil who takes advantage of the lunch program. Lunches are planned by a local school manager whose menus have taste appeal and day-to-day -day variety. A good lunch provides from a third to one half of the student's daily needs. In thousands of schools across the country, millions of school children participate in the National School Lunch Program. Impressive? Actually not. Only a little over one-third of our school enrollment participates. The price of a lunch is low, an average of less than 30 cents for those who can afford it. Lunches are designed to be nutritious, attractive, and well-balanced. Type A, they're called. Meats and other foods rich in protein, a combination of fruits and vegetables, bread, butter, milk. Type A. A nutritious lunch helps a child stay alert. It helps teenagers make that final spurt of growth that develops them into healthy grown-ups. It gives all youth the energy to keep up and grow up. And what better use for our cultural riches than the school lunch? The total food consumed in the school lunch program represents an ever-growing market for our farms and our food industry. The lunches we put together are all type A and popular. Plenty of good protein. There's salad for vitamins and minerals. A dressing adds flavor. And carbohydrates, like oven fresh cake, they're always easy to take. Let it happen every noon, in every school, in every state. After all, you can't teach a hungry child. And they're going to tell you what it's like in the Westmore lunchroom to be respectful, responsible, safe problem solvers. They're going to tell you their name and what it looks like. Hi, I'm Hannah Kenny, and I'm in fifth grade. And this is what being respectful in the lunchroom looks like. First, you use quiet voices. Um, second, you look for spaces that are empty on your table. And you eat your own food, not anybody else's. And you respect the space of other people. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm in fifth grade. Being responsible in the lunchroom means like um, remembering your lunch card or waiting your turn. Like returning your tray, tap and step, and then waiting to be dismissed. Hello, I am Colton and I'm in fifth grade like these two. And uh, being safe in the lunchroom means keeping hands and feet to self. Following directions the first time, or even zero times if you're that lucky, 
and eat your own food. Beware of others' food allergies. Remember, not everyone is not allergic to your food. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm in second grade in Miss Chambers' class. Um, and I'm going to tell you about being a problem solver in the lunchroom. Um, if you get angry, a good way to be a problem solver is to count to ten and help you. Um, so you got to see what all four of our expectations are in the lunchroom. Now we're, our expectation is that you're going to follow all four of these every time you go to lunch. Have a great day.